to iPad Training, Lesson 5. In this lesson, you'll learn how to use the Calendar app on your iPad. This is a great app that will help you become more organized. First, let's open Calendar. When you open Calendar, you'll see the whole month. You can choose if you want to look at the day, the week, the month, the year, or just a list of your events. Let's look at the month. You can move to the future or the past by turning the page of the calendar like this. At the bottom of the calendar, you will see a slider where you can choose days, weeks, or months in the future or the past quickly. If you touch today, you will go to today's date on the calendar. At the top left of the calendar, you will see a button that says Calendars. When you tap it, you'll see a list of all of the different calendars that show events on your calendar app. You can turn them on or off by tapping the check marks. You can add calendars like your personal calendar, class calendars, or calendars for clubs and organizations and put them all together so you can see events from all of them in your calendar app. Next to the Calendars button, you'll see a button called Invitations. I have one invitation. Let's look at it. If someone invites you to an event, you will see the invitation here. You can accept or decline the invitation. That means you can say yes or no. You will also see the details of the invitation here, including the other people invited, the date, the time, and the place. At the top right of the calendar, you will see the search bar. You can search for events or for people here. Let's look for the EOC. That was the final exam last June. I can see that it was on Thursday, June 14th at 1230. At the bottom right, you will see a plus sign. This is where you can create a new event. Tap the plus sign, then type the name of the event, the location, then you can choose the time and the day. Put the day you want and the time you want in the blue bar. If it's an event that happens often, you can choose repeat. You can choose it to happen every day, every week, or even every year. This is good for classes, repeated assignments, maybe even birthdays. Choose someone to invite if it's an event with other people. Tap the plus sign and search for an email address. This will send an invitation to the other person's email and their calendar. Now choose an alert if you need a reminder of your event. Let's choose one day before. This will send a message to the screen of my iPad one day before the event, and it will make a noise so it reminds me. Choose which calendar you want it on. I'm going to put this on my class calendar. You can also put an internet link here and some notes. This is useful if you've invited someone so they can see this information in the invitation. Now you can see the event in my calendar. If I want to move it to a different time or day, I can just tap and move like this. It will automatically change the time and the date in my calendar. Let's look at the day view. Now inside the day view, I can move it to a different time by tapping and holding again. It will automatically change the time and the day. Let's look at the month view again. When you get an email with a day and time in it, you will also see a hyperlink. Let's look at that. Here's a message asking me to have lunch. Here's the hyperlink. To add this event to my calendar, I just tap the link. I can create an event, put in the details, and give myself an alert. Your email app will automatically add these hyperlinks. Now let's look in the calendar. And there's my lunch appointment. This is the end of Lesson 5.